Aisha? Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 10th and final episode of the miniseries Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, as well as the 155th episode overall, titled Hog Day Afternoon Part 2. We start this episode with a lightning storm that's showing that there's no damn water in the world. The rangers are watching the news on the viewing globe, seeing that the water has all been absorbed into the cloud bank above the place. Zordon says that Billy and Alpha need to reverse the polarity to free the water. Tommy and Adam come in and they say that they found water in the command center's earthquake readiness kit. Also, Billy and Alpha have completed a device that will release the water from the clouds to help the alien rangers. At the empty swimming pool, Tommy and Adam come up with the water bottles, giving it to the alien rangers to help them rehydrate a bit. Rita sees this and even she knows that this entire thing is kind of futile because they're not going to be rehydrated by just a few drops of water like that. Meanwhile, in Africa, Tanya and Aisha get to the village and they meet up with Ashala. And Aisha says that she remembers that once her mom told her about her great aunt Ashala. The hell is happening? I mean, are we in the past? Are we not in the past? Aisha and Ashala are talking about how they need to save the animals. And Ashala says that Aisha is the chosen one that was meant to come there and help them. Ashala then says that she has a personal talisman that she calls upon to give her help, and she gives it to Aisha, and ta-da! It's the Zeo Crystal, glowing yellow. Aisha's conflicted on whether to stay in Africa or not, clearly. Meanwhile, the others are all together, giving the Alien Rangers more water than they got... somewhere. Also, Billy's device is done. Alpha brings up the cloud on the viewing globe, and Billy hits the cloud through the damn globe, like that's a thing. I mean, apparently it is, according to Zed Waves. This unleashes the water, causing a lot of rain for a bit, which rehydrates the alien rangers enough. It's Morphin time! The alien rangers then show up in the city, and they fight Hydro Hog, who is using an anchor and sword weapon against them, as well as some bombs. Then Zed and Rita say screw it, and they make Hydro Hog giant. I feel like if he's the big bad, he could just make himself giant. The alien rangers call out the Shogun Megazord insanely quickly, and they go for the fire sword right away, but somehow Hydro Hog stops them. I really thought this was about to be the most underwhelming win ever. Then the Shogun Zord is defeated, falling over. Meanwhile, Goldar and Rito are freaking out because they can't turn off the bomb. Now on the viewing globe, the Alien Rangers are now apparently fine, apparently, but they're still on the ground. Billy suggests that they use the remote-controlled Falcon Zord to create the Shogun Falcon Megazord to help them. So now the Falcon Zord is flying and around and stuff, attacking Hydrohog. Then it fuses with the Shogun Megazord, completely destroying Hydrohog. Never mind, that was still pretty underwhelming. The Alien Rangers then tell the others that they need to head back to the lake to rehydrate because they still need water. Alpha is then given the task to look for Aisha. Meanwhile, Aisha and Tanya hug Ashala, and they say they have to go back to where Tanya found her. Alpha gets a visual on Aisha, and the kids are stoked that she already has the crystal. They're also confused about who that other girl is with her. Then we see Tanya and Aisha talking, and we hear Tanya asking what if she doesn't fit in, or they don't want her to be there. Then Zordon's head shows up in the sky, which is definitely not a thing he could do before. Aisha then explains that she's going to be sending Tanya back with her crystal because she wants to stay in Africa to help them with the animal sickness. Then Zordon says that he had a feeling that this would happen with one of them, which I feel like he maybe could have said like two episodes ago when Aisha was the only one to not come back yet. Zordon then says that Aisha's family will join her when the earth goes back to normal, and wow, this is a trip. Then Tanya leads with the crystal in the fashion of two skinny ovals in yellow. Kat is also crying because Aisha is gone, but like, let's be real, Kat knew Aisha for like, what, a week? Whatever, Tanya shows up at the command center and she gives Billy the final crystal. He immediately adds it and suddenly the earth begins to return to normal. Zed and Rita see what's going on and they're excited that they're about to get the Zeo crystal. And we also see that Bulk and Skull are on swings and suddenly they turn back into their adult selves. I've never been so happy to see them. In the command center, all of the rangers are back to normal. Then we meet Tanya for the first time ever and I'm going to be honest guys, I'm super excited that we have Tanya now because she's legitimately one of my favorite rangers. I think I have a thing for heroes in yellow. I decide to check in on Aisha who is on the viewing globe, now also an adult, hugging Ashala. Zordon then tells them to say goodbye to their other friends, so everyone except Tanya leaves as Alpha wants to fill Tanya in on some details. The rangers say goodbye to the alien rangers and there's a long speech about how they did what they had to do and Delphine winks at Tommy? Is Delphine gonna try to f*** Tommy? Meanwhile, the implosion device is almost ready to go off, and they hear Rita suddenly saying that they need to go get the crystal. Meanwhile, in the command center, Rito and Goldar show up, grabbing the Zeo crystal and teleporting out. Then the others show up, and they're obviously bummed that the Zeo crystal's gone. I mean, this took like 10 
freaking episodes to do. Now the implosion device is going off, which is insane. Everything starts exploding around the Rangers and Billy just screams no, rushing onto a control panel as it explodes for no reason whatsoever. And then Alpha teleports the Rangers out of there to save them. And then suddenly the entire command center just explodes to pieces. Everyone rushes over to Billy to make sure he's okay because he looks like he's probably like the most dead, but he's fine. The Rangers are terrified that Zora and Alpha are gone forever now. Tommy laments that this could be the end of the Power Rangers as all six stand together, decently scared. Over the credits, we finally get some real outtakes from this episode. That's nice. Wow, so um, everything Mighty Morphin is just now officially over. I mean, that's insane. The Alien Rangers are gone. Aisha's gone. Tanya's here. Man Center has been destroyed, and the villains have won grabbing the Zeo Crystal. This is kind of an insane thing that these 155 episodes have been leading to this the entire time, and it's still hard to wrap my brain around. Also, why the hell was Billy grabbing onto the console like that? I mean, did he think that was going to do something? Other than that, man is it good to see the adult rangers again. I mean seriously, so good. It feels like it's been far too long because, well, it has been. I almost forgot that this show could be almost watchable, and it's not even total shade to the adult actors. You can tell a lot of time that they were just directed absolutely horribly. So, what now? Well, next time we'll discuss season 3 overall, which is going to be an insane recap now that I think of it. So much has happened in these episodes. After that, there's something special coming, but until then, may the power protect you.